A little boy screaming and crying for help. Those screams are what actually led Border Patrol agents to find him. This is just the latest in a string of new videos showing children, babies left by coyotes, highlighting the crisis at our border that continues to get worse. Today, a bipartisan congressional delegation toured the southern border, but Vice President Kamala Harris and the Biden administration are still nowhere to be found. And President Biden just ended former President Trump's remain in Mexico policy. Joining us now is former DHS Oversight Counsel and Heritage Senior Advisor, Mike Howell. Mike, good evening to you. You saw that video. You heard that child screaming in pain of being abandoned. Um, why is the administration turning a blind eye to this? Well, first off, that video is absolutely heartbreaking. And uh, unfortunately, we know that to be the norm and, and not the exception. This is how the cartels work. Now, the administration is turning a blind eye to this because they created this crisis. They did this purposely. They came in day one of the administration with a plan to undo every Trump era border and immigration, uh, you know, thing that they possibly could and unleash this crisis. And then what they also did is it created a special exception for under 18s coming to the border that could get into the country. What does that mean? That means that cartels focus their business line on these young kids. They know it is their ticket into the country. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to get better before it gets worse. The administration is doubling down. Right. Uh, currently before the Senate is a slate of senior nominees for the Department of Homeland Security, all who were the ones who designed these policies in the first place. They should Mike, not be confirmed. When it comes to President Trump's remain in Mexico policy being overturned, the administration is, is essentially saying we are open for business. You can come here when they're saying to the American public, oh, no, 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 no. That's not the messaging. Right. It, it's it's absolute chaos. It, it makes no sense to any reasonable person. They understand that you should not be able to enter the country illegally. If you have a claim, your claim should be heard. If it is adjudicated that you can come in, then you get to come in. That's what Remain in Mexico was. And when it was implemented under the Trump administration, it worked because people with fraudulent claims and claims that wouldn't pass muster knew that it wasn't worth it. Their claims would be denied. That's how an orderly immigration system works. They got rid of it simply because it worked. They want as many illegal aliens in this country as possible that they can get away with because they think it helps them win elections. They do not care about the video of a five year old crying or the th people who die or are sexually abused along the way. What they care about is votes, votes, votes. And it's a horrendous way to run a country. And I'm deeply ashamed. Uh, of this White House for how they're handling it. And Mike, a lot of the conversations that I have with people about this um, and Kamala Harris being tasked with, you know, trying to solve the crisis at the border, but she's not going down there. She's not really doing anything, any, anything about it. She's actually, it seems, trying to distance herself from it. It's almost like I'll hide in the basement with Joe and this will go away or it won't go away. And that's OK, too. You're absolutely right. Kamala Harris wants nothing to do with this job at all. Um, I don't even think she had any idea it was getting passed to her. But you know what? She's the vice president right now. She has a responsibility to this country to enforce our laws and make sure that our country is safe. And by the way, that there's not a massive humanitarian crisis with untold human damage uh, unfolding. She's not touching it because she thinks it hurts her politics. Mm. Um, I, I say it's the mark of a really failed leader. And she's a failed vice president right now for not stepping up to the plate. Well, if we don't hold her feet to the fire, if the American public doesn't, history certain, certainly will. Um, Mike Howell, thank you so much for your time tonight. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for having me, Jackie.